Hi, Thank everyone. You. I have Jordan O'Reilly here just to demonstrate how to create schedule templates in Oscar. We are providing this for any larger clinics, especially that have complicated setups, but for anyone at all that wants uh, a little help in creating their schedules. As you know, creating a schedule is what Cortico uses to book all your appointments for you. So it's a really important step to have your schedule optimized. Alrighty, so I'll just get started. Um, we're in the administration panel. So you go into administration, we'll have to hit first the schedule setting. From there, there's a few drop downs. So for each provider in your system, you will see the doctors in this drop down. And then it'll be template code setting and template setting. So to start, all you would need to do is go into template code setting. And if you would like to make a template, you can type in a code. So let's start with saying we're going to make a template with the letter W. So a description we can put, maybe this is a 10 minute prenatal. So we can change the duration to 10 minutes. You choose any one of the colors from the color bank here. And we want to set uh, appointment limit type off and we just hit save. So from there, we would now make a template for this specific doctor. So if your doctors across the clinic normally have the same time frame or the same appointment types, what you can do is you can make a public template. If each doctor has separate time frames, you can make a point, uh, template specific to the doctor. So for now, we're just going to make a public template. So you'll see this here. So this is the timing of the templates. So you have five, 10, 15, 20, or a half hour, depending on what you first use uh, for each appointment. So let's say we're doing 10 minute appointments. So we're gonna go to 10 minutes. So the template name is really like the shift type. So if the shift is, let's say 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and we're using 10 minute appointments, what I would normally do is just put the shift range and what timing is the appointment. So it's quite clear when you see it. So to add the physical templates to the actual template to create it, you would just click on the timing you would like. So we're gonna start at nine and we just put the letter in each box. So if you want appointments every 10 minutes between nine and one, you would just fill each one of these appointment boxes with a W. If you wanted to do, let's say, have one skip one, you would just have a break in between, a 10 minute break between each appointment. So once you hit save, you've then created the template. So you can see it here. We just created this template here and we're gonna hit edit. So this template is now created. So to insert it into the doctor's list, you would pick whatever provider you'd like to use. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna use provider desk front. So it's now gonna bring me to this screen here. So this screen is where you would set up the doctor's working schedule. So for 2022, you would do the whole year at once. So you'd put 2022-0101 as the start date. 2022 12 31. So, if whatever days you want the doctor works, you would check off here. So, this doctor works, let's say Monday to Friday. So, we're going to choose the templates that fit for those days. So, let's say this doctor works 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Monday to Friday. So, we would insert that. We would then hit next. So, this actually just set the schedule for all of 2022 for the doctor that's working 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So, let's say this doctor wants to change their schedule and whether they're off a day. So, what you would do is you would go into this doctor's schedule setting again, you would hit next. What you would do is you'd choose which day the doctor's off. So, let's say the doctor needs February 23rd off, we would just change this to off or change it to no template. You then click this, it will refresh and now that day is booked off. It'll reflect instantly in the system and it'll be updated. So if the doctor does end up changing their hours, so let's say the doctor was working Monday to Friday, but now for whatever reason is only working Monday through Thursday, the easiest way to change all existing shifts would be to basically come here. You would take the template that you would make for off, you would paste it on the Friday, and now this will update and reflect for the rest of the year. So the doctor is now off for the rest of the year in 2022. So that's how you would set up the yearly schedule for each doctor. Um, if you did, like I said, set up a public template, it'll go across all doctors. If you want to set up a specific template for a doctor, you would choose the doctor's name here, hit template setting, and you can do the same thing. So we'll just choose 10 minute times 
let's say this doctor works 12 to 5 p.m., 10 minute appointments. So we'll do that. 10 minutes, we'll copy that for the summary as well. 12 to five, we're gonna use W because he used W as well. Hey Jordan. Yep. When would I use a different letter as opposed to just W for everything? So it depends on like the timing. So if a doctor, let's say, does 15 minute appointments, we can make a 15 minute template. It's really something that is flexible. So um, if you basically want a doctor to have 15 minutes appointment, you can make a template that has 15 minutes. So in this case, it's I in our system here. If a doctor does an appointment every 20 minutes, we can book it every 20 minutes and make it a 20 minute template. That just basically defaults Oscar to say when the staff click on that appointment time, it prompts them to book a 20 minute appointment. Um, the working schedule. So like if we go to what we did for desk front, you'll now be able to open up the schedule and you'll see the templates live. So this doctor does W's between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. So this will show that you click on it, it's a 10 minute appointment and you can book it at 9 a.m. on this day. So if you ever wanted to do maybe more than one service, so the doctor does, let's say, 10 minute W's in the morning, so that's a follow up, and then new patients in the afternoon for 20 minutes. So if the doctor wants to change or have a bit of flexibility over their schedule, they can just go back into the template. So let's go back to the public template. We're gonna go to the one that we created. We are going to say, now we want to do um, A's in the afternoon because A is the new patient. So we can just change A's for a certain amount of times we would like. And then we'll have follow-ups first and then A's. Once we change this template, this template will actually reflect instantly on everything that you've had made with that template. So that's the easiest way to kind of be able to update it. And kind of as you get used to it or know what the doctors want to see per hour or how they want to structure the days, there's a lot of different ways that you can make that happen and have a bit more flexibility. And it's, as you can see, it's quite open for the staff to see as well. So they know when the doctors are working and it's very clear. That was super helpful. Any questions or comments from Adrian? Could you click on one of the doctor's schedules to select one of them? So uh, like the date I see, click on, like, let's say Monday. Um, and you see there's an S at the very top. There's a button next to the front yeah. desk name. If you click S, not DS, but just on the left, mm -hmm. S, Quick search and then you can the receptionist can easily search templates so instead of going through the schedule days manually you can search for a template so um, I would suggest narrowing down your appointment types so then you can see them and click them easily to book yeah and it, it, it basically defaults right to the next available so if you're booking like a very busy doctor and you're not too sure where um, they're booking next, you can just search the correct template code. So if you know you're booking like a prenatal, you can search W, it'll show you the first available appointments and then you can offer them directly to the patient. Very cool. All right. That was an amazing whirlwind tour of the template schedule system, Jordan. Thanks so much.